got to have some fuel for this video guys because it is gonna be horrible today every single week is the same damn problem we don't got no parts <sighs> i want to work on this bike so damn badly but we don't have any single parts yet not for the front fork not for the wheel not for the whole engine not for everything else we don't have parts we don't have tires we don't have gaskets crankshaft pistons carburetor nothing at all because the parts that we want and mainly the crankshaft isn't in stock why isn't it in stock who the hell knows it's been like a month and a half since we started the project that we are looking for a crankshaft and there is no crankshaft in sight at least not on the website that we're searching on but it is so damn frustrating why was this crankshaft broken let's have another look at the crankshaft now i am somebody who says yeah tolerances and whatever and everything has to be perfect on this bike and I want this part to be perfect. This is the old crankshaft. And as I see, it, you guys wouldn't be able to see it on video, but it has a little bit of play in there. Not much, a little bit of play like this that I can feel. Wouldn't it be better if we just use the old crankshaft and run it until it's broken? Or should we buy a new one? I don't know at this point. I'm at the point that I'm thinking, why wouldn't we use the old crankshaft? Just buy the other parts and use the old crankshaft. If it breaks, then it breaks. We're gonna have to keep a good eye on it. You know what I'm gonna do? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna contact the seller, say that I want a crankshaft when it's coming in. If it's not coming in in the next month, we're using the old crankshaft. I don't care anymore. I just don't care anymore. We have to make this bike run. I got to make videos, you know? I have to make a video every single week, but every single step that we're willing to take, it slows us down. So I'm gonna contact the seller. I'm talking about motorkit.com. I'm gonna contact those guys, say, hey, I make videos. I don't want free stuff. I'm not about that. I don't want any free stuff. I want a crankshaft. I want to pay full price of it. I just want it. When is it coming in? Is it coming in this month? No? Okay. We're going to use the old crankshaft. It's, it's, I can't wait anymore. We can get bearings. We can get everything else. It, just imagine what we can do when we have the crankshaft. We can mount the whole CVT, get that all sorted out. Kickstart, uh, ignition, piston installment, everything, stuff like that. We can all do that. Now what we could do that's also an option is go a step higher, get a performance crankshaft. Well, it costs about 30 euros more, coming out the total cost of 90 euros for a crankshaft. And at this point, I don't really want to do that. I talked about this with the shade. If we put on a bigger cylinder, then we can go for a bigger crankshaft or a better performing crankshaft. We're sticking with the 50cc, so is a better crankshaft necessary? In my opinion, not, but at the other hand, better parts um, it, is, it is very hard guys it's very hard doing a whole youtube style stuff thing whatever it is very hard to do you have to get every single part and apparently where i live there's no store or whatever they are all located in holland or france or whatever but where i live there's no store who can give me parts i cannot go to a shop and say hey i need a crank sealant hey i need a bearing hey i need a gasket for that piston yes yes check everything around i cannot do that here you can see that i'm a little bit upset with not the build i'm pretty happy with the build but how things are going it is so frustrating when the time comes of filming and i don't have nothing to film it is frustrating i want to make a video every single week which is not a big task i mean it's seven days apart with every build wouldn't you think that i could come up with some idea to do that day but at this stage i can't really do anything so yeah i'm gonna contact motor kit and ask him where the crankshaft is is there a crankshaft no we're gonna put in the old crankshaft i'm telling you now 
If I don't receive any word of motor kit or if the response is negative that there's no crankshaft available, we are gonna order, we still need to order parts of course, we are gonna put in the old crankshaft. Done deal, shade, you know it. The old crankshaft is going in if you don't get a new one. Now for this video I still have to make a video. I cannot ramble this whole video along so we're gonna have to do something. There are some stuff that I still could do. I could sand the wheels. Yes I could do that but that is gonna be a long process and as I told you before the shade is gonna sand those wheels. He's gonna make them all nice and pretty. He came over last week and was excited about the wheels because they look pretty perfect but he agreed they need to be sanded we're gonna make them all smooth not like a mirror finish but smoother than now so for now on this video i'm just gonna figure something out to do and yeah you will see in the time lapse and at the end of this video i'm gonna explain what i did but yeah so let's start the time lapse on something who knows So I tried and I tried and I tried to figure out something out to do today. And my first idea was to make the exhaust flange. So when we get the new exhaust, it would be easier to mount it on there and weld it on there and get it all going. But I do have metal, but the metal that I got is too thin or too thick. So I scrapped that idea and I didn't go through with that. I'm gonna have to find metal that is the right size. If we're gonna weld to the tube it's gonna be tin material. If I use too thin material on the flange it will warp when heating up. If I use too thick it's gonna be a nightmare to weld the small material to the fat material. So yeah I want good metal to get that going. So then I started looking around in the parts and I saw the spring. So as you saw I pulled the spring apart I tried it before but a little nut on the underside was stuck so I couldn't get the whole spring assembly disassembled to clean it and make it all nice and pretty because we are looking to paint the spring yellow of course make it look like a Olin spring so I tried I heated up the nut and it came loose and I could take apart the whole spring assembly as you saw I cleaned it and I started sanding it and when you look at the coating of the original spring it's like a gold dish coating on there I guess it's to protect it from the elements but when I started sanding because there was a lot of rust on there the coating came off and yeah at that point there's no going back you have to remove the whole coating to make a nice uniform look for the spring so I did that and this is how it turned out it looks pretty nice I think I'd like this better than the gold look now when I look at this I started doubting if we would ever paint the spring yellow with black it looks pretty good I mean when you look at it 
in the sunlight it's even better but it looks pretty nice i mean the inside is all nice and shiny there are still some rough spots i mean when you look at here it's still a little bit rusty but i wasn't expecting it would come out this good so i don't have the right sandpaper right here i have 500 grit 1000 and 2000 which is a little bit soft for what I want to do to make it all nice and shiny. So I'm gonna order some new sandpaper and get the spring all nice and pretty. Of course, with me removing the coating, it's still gonna rust. So even if we don't ride in the water, I mean, the moist in the air will rust this spring. I can see that on the intake plate, it will rust. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to clear coat every single part, of course not the spring, that has to be special coating to work. But for now, I just think we're gonna mount it with the black on there. Maybe at some point we get a second spring and then we can powder coat it whatever color we want. Maybe even go just clear coat so we have a nice metal spring. I think that would be a little bit of overkill. I don't know what you guys think. What should we do? Should we go black, go yellow? or go clear. Now when we look at it on the bike it looks absolutely amazing. It blends completely in there. Of course this part we sh we're gonna clear coat that as well. We're not gonna keep that black. We want a all metal look but something stands out. Can you see what I mean? Yes this right here. This is still yellow. This has the same coating on there as the spring has or what the spring previously had and yeah this should be metal as well. So I took the wire wheel and did a little test patch and yes it comes out nice and clean. Now to do the whole part is going to be a little bit tricky. We have the inside right here and the outside and these rubber pieces. So what I'm going to do next week when we get the whole sandpaper for this, I'm going to try to remove the coating from here so we don't have that gold look anymore. I really don't like it. It stands out too much and we don't want that. We paint strip the wheels to make them blend in with the engine. Now the spring is blending in with the whole engine so that mount is gonna have to be clear coated. No second guessing on that. So yeah at this point we're a little bit it is so annoying we don't have parts but I promise you guys next week we're gonna have parts I promise you we're gonna do we're gonna do some stuff we're gonna order parts we're not gonna wait any longer we're just gonna order them deal with it maybe get the old crank in there maybe get the new crank who knows but we're gonna get some parts. I'm calling the shade right now and he is gonna order those parts. So a little bit of a downer video, not much done and not that interesting, but I still hope you guys enjoyed it. Is it this is a full complete build. If I wasn't making a video every single week, this wouldn't happen. I would just wait until we get parts or I have more stuff to do, but I make weekly videos so that is what we need to work with. So yeah, if you want to see the whole build, there will be a link in the description down below with every single build that we did we have playlists for the rcx for the brixton for little monster and for the peugeot fox racer so go check that out in the description down below so you can see every single stuff that i did on this channel so that is going to be it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and a comment down below follow me on facebook twitter and on instagram and if you're not already subscribed yet subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next one